Alright, for those who don't know me, I go by the name of T-Rock. I'm a secular artist in the rap industry. I'm also a believer in Jesus Christ. I believe in God. Well, the reason I'm doing this blog is to uh, talk to y'all about relinquishing unforgiveness and um, harboring bitter feelings that may hurt you and kill you inside. And uh, also people who harbor bitter feelings towards you that you can do nothing about. Well, um, just lately, I had been going through some things in life where I felt like I was wronged by people, by certain people. And uh, situations, there were certain situations in my life that just simply didn't go my way. And it was like extremely disappointing for me. So just yesterday, uh, I decided, you know, I heard, I heard a voice from God like, look, we're going to let this stuff go today. You know, um, so I decided I was going to get on my knees and I was going to pray and ask God to let these things go and, um, you know, to give them to him and forgive me for any um, any art that I did towards people who didn't forgive me to let that go also. And um, just to let go of all my unforgiveness that I had towards people and towards situations that didn't go my way. So as I began to get on my knees, I heard a voice say, take off your watch. All right. I took off my watch. Then I heard a voice say, take off your necklace. I'm like, all right. I took off my necklace. Then I heard a voice say, take off your shoes. And I'm like, hold up, hold up. I ain't finna take off my shoes. So I took my shoes off. So I was finna get back on my knees. And I heard a, I heard a voice say, take your hair down. Take my hair down? All right. So I took my hair down. So I was finna get back on my knees. And I heard a voice say, turn off the light. So I'm like, hold up, hold up. I ain't finna be doing all of this. But I went ahead and did it. Turn off the light. I relinquished all my jewels. And I just began to pray. And uh, I told God, like, basically, you know, God, I want to give you a lot of these things. I don't want to harbor unforgiveness. I don't want to be bitter. I don't want anybody to be bitter towards me. So I told God, I give you these things. A lot of these things I want to give you, but I don't know how to give you. I don't know how to give them to you. So the moment I said that, it was just an overwhelming flow. I felt the spirit. It was like tears just showered from my face. It was like a, a water flow. And I was like, God, I don't know how to give it to you. And that moment, that's when he stepped in. So I want to challenge all you. Um, if you don't know how to give something to God, if you if you want something out of your life or you want someone to forgive you or you want to obtain forgiveness, you want to forgive someone else, but you don't know how, I dare you. Go to God, get on your knees, relinquish all your jewels, take all your jewels off. You got long hair, let your hair down, you got dreads, take the rubber band out, out your hair. If you're a beautiful lady, take let your hair down, take off your shoes, get in your prayer room, and tell God you don't know how to give it to him. And tell him to take it away. I challenge you, I challenge you. God is real and he will do it. And um, I just want to talk to a lot of you about um, religion because, see, I'm running into a lot of believers. You say you believe in God, but you won't go to church because you say the pastor is corrupt. You say um, none of them are perfect anyway. They go out and sin as soon as they leave the church. OK, that is true. But the reason Jesus came was to show us how to continue to get back on the horse. The walk of faith is like a big stallion that we could never ride. Jesus was coming to teach us sin no more means to be conscious of what you're doing and try to do the best you can. Sin no more. If we could really literally sin no more, if that was a perfect church, there would be no need for a Jesus. And, and, and one thing about it, I see a lot of you, you run to, you listen to what they have to say with far as the Illuminati, you run to the Illuminati. You think you want to be a Mason, nothing against the Masons, but you'll run to the uh, you'll run to Muslims, you'll run to the nation of Islam. No disrespect to the nation of Islam, but I feel like this. If you were born as a Muslim, I feel God honors you. I, I feel God teaches us through many, many languages. You read upon the tower, the towers of Babel. That goes to show you that God teaches from many languages. But my problem with a lot of Christians who run to the Muslim faith. You don't even study your word. You don't study God's word. You don't study his wars and you don't seek him for yourself. So what you'll do, you'll go to another religion. You'll go to the Masons. You'll go to anything other than your Christian faith. 
You never seek God yourself. You'll never come say, God, here I am. Meet me where I am. I'm a weed smoking thug. That, that's what I used to be. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that's where God met me at. God told me to write his album. So if he'll do it for me, I know he'll do it for you because I am a wretch. It don't get no lower than me. So I, be, I believe like before you go to the Muslim religion or before you go to anything else, do everything diligently that you can to seek God out of out of out of the walk that you were born in. Because what, what happens a lot of times when you go to the Muslim religion, but you were born as a Christian, you have all these questions and now you have a protocol that you must follow. And you didn't want to follow the original protocol from the Christian religion. So you're going you're gonna to not want to follow the protocol from the Muslim religion. So you have to really just humble yourself. Ask God to meet you where you are. And he'll do the rest. I challenge you. I challenge you. Humble yourself. Ask God to meet you where you are. If he can do it for me, he can do it for you. Study his wars. Study. Look, look at the people that he used. Look at the murderers that he used. Look at the pimps that he used. Look at David. David had the mind of a pimp. He was a manipulator, but he also had the heart. He was after God's own heart. Study the wars of God. Study the people that he uses. And I dare you to seek him. I dare you to seek him. Ask him to meet you where you are in life. And he'll do the rest. There is no change overnight. There is no overnight change where suddenly I snap my hand. Now I'm a saint. If it, if, if it was that simple, Jesus would have never had to come. Muhammad would have never had to minister. So um, I want to denounce. I want to denounce the holy war religion. I, I, I denounce the holy war. I denounce the Muslims fighting the Christians, number one. And I challenge you. I challenge you where you are, wherever you are in your life. Seek God, and if you have any bitter, bitter feelings, ask God to meet you where you are and tell him you don't know how to give it to him. Ask him to take it, tell him you don't know how to give it to him, and he'll do the rest. And as far as other people forgiving you, if, if you, if you ask God for forgiveness and you've gone to your fellow man and ask them for forgiveness and they don't forgive you, well, that's on them. You've done your part. God will work out the rest. And God will liberate you in the situation. This is T-Rock. I'm signing out. I got to go to the studio. I just wanted to talk to y'all about this and challenge you, man, because we are not perfect. There is no perfect Christian, but we got to get back on the stallion. We got to continue to get back on the stallion. You're going to get knocked off every day because you're going to sin. And the condemner, the, the, the devil will come. He will condemn you a bit, a, about the, the fall offs about every time you fall off the horse and about every time you sin. But you get back on that horse. You repent to God and you come sincerely because God knows your heart. He, he doesn't care about your actions. Your actions will not get you into heaven. But the more you seek him through your heart, he'll change your actions and he will change your situations. I challenge you. Don't be afraid of it. Don't be afraid of the Illuminati. That's that's just another hoax to keep your access away from God. How, how, how can someone who knows the Bible from top to bottom tell you about your battle plan? See, they have their battle plan and they studied your battle plan from top to bottom. But they've also gotten you scared to where you won't even seek your battle plan. You think the Bible is fake. Seek your battle plan. Study his wars. Study his victories and study his disciples that he used. And you will find that a lot of those disciples were people just like you. I love y'all. To God be the glory. I'm T-Rock signing off. Y'all have a blessed day. I challenge you. Go for it. You will win. Stronger in God. We are not weak.